Hey, what's up, guys? So, now that I'm done basically everything you can do in Assassin's Creed, uh, I thought I'd make a video on what I was hoping to see in the DLCs. Uh, it's scheduled to be two DLCs coming out in uh, January and March. Uh, I wanted to make a video before about a, the story and my uh, my thoughts on the story. Uh, I never got around to it. I procrastinate it like I usually do. So, before I jump into the DLCs, I want to touch on the story real quick, uh, which I thought was good overall. But just very uh, seemed disjointed to me. Uh, it did what it was supposed to do. It told the story of the origins of the Brotherhood, its symbols, its methods, etc. Uh, but the pacing of the story was just all off to me. Uh, it did start off good. It was nice and steady, revealing Bayek's past, uh, the death of his son, the uh, conspiracy of the Order. Uh, you meet Cleopatra. It was unraveling pretty good, but then. As you go on, each member you meet just seemed disconnected and never got a sense of what really the group was trying to accomplish overall, except for some generic plot for power. Uh, also, around the time Cleopatra meets Caesar, the events seem to get rushed, uh, especially with I and Bayek's relationship. Uh, they, you know, they go from jumping on each other to giving giving each other the cold shoulder, then breaking up, and then she's you know going over to uh, Rome she's assassinating Caesar uh, it's like just seemed really rushed uh, I think they definitely should have saved the assassination for a DLC uh, it's just a huge event in history and just to tag it on at the end real quick just didn't seem right to me uh, they could have introduced Brutus as a character maybe a playable assassin I think that would have been cool uh, also more on on the side quest I wish they did more with them. Uh, most of them weren't interesting. Uh, and they seemed more like a chore. Where you just wanted to get it done. And then move on to the next one. Games like Fallout and Witcher. You know they nail side quests. Um, they, they create memorable stories. That sometimes are better than the main story. You know Ubisoft had two years to develop the game. So I was expecting more from it. I'd rather have less side missions. That are more detailed. Than a bunch of generic go fetch or kill and then come back missions no I I did enjoy missions like taste of her sting uh, where Bayek has to find clues at multiple locations and then all the clues lead them to a final part of the mission like stuff missions like that are cool they actually get the player invested and you you want to finish it um, but that's just some of my criticisms overall I did like the game the story was good it did what it was supposed to do told the story of the uh, the origins but moving on to the DLC, uh, we know there's going to be two from the website. The first one's going to be called The Hidden Ones. It's going to be an expansion that takes place years after the events of the game. It's going to be in a new region occupied by a Roman force. Bayek and the new assassins will clash with the Romans as the Brotherhood continues to grow. Players will have a new level cap, and that comes out in January. So to me, that doesn't sound like anything too crazy or special. But I'm hoping they are just given a generic description to not spoil anything. And I hope it covers some of the stuff I'm going to be talking about that I want to see in, the, in these DLCs. Alright, so let's jump into that. Uh, first thing I want to see, this isn't in any specific order, but we, number one is we know Aya, now going by Amunet, is eventually going to kill Cleopatra. At the end we saw Aya threatening her and, and warning her to stay in line. So I'm guessing we'll see the events that lead to her assassination. Uh, most likely the historical figure Mark Anthony was going to be introduced. Uh, if you don't know, he was a general under Caesar. Uh, he forges a close relationship with Cleopatra and then the two go to war with Caesar's great nephew and adopted son Octavian. Who ends up becoming Augustus. Um, Cleopatra's relationship with Anthony will probably send her over the edge. She's going to piss off Aya and that's going to lead to her death. Um, if you want to learn more about that story, I highly recommend HBO's uh, show Rome. Uh, season 2 covers these events. It's just a great great show. Uh, and the actor who plays Anthony is great. Uh, I can't think of his name, but he does a great job. Uh, so moving on to, I want to learn more about what happens with Hotep Cavern. We know that Bayek eventually finds a relic in there. And that's where Layla is in the Animus at while she's in Egypt. And she find, that's where she finds Bayek and Aya's tombs. 
And if you don't know, the cave is a little bit of an Easter egg. I made a video on it, and I'll leave a, a link in the description for anyone interested. You can find a clue to its location by reading a stone tablet in the cave as Layla. And then, using those clues, you can find find the cave as Bayek in the game. Uh, when he when he goes in, he makes a comment about it being a place him and Aya went to to be together for some privacy, and it's a place he'd like to come back to eventually. Uh, you could also find a note next to a dead body in here. The note explains how he, the man found a great treasure, but unfortunately he got stuck in the cave and he couldn't escape. Finally, the cave is where Bayek and Aya will eventually decide to be laid to rest. So that shows that, that the two do come back together in, in some capacity. Hopefully the DLCs explain how that happens. And and finally, with that, I'd like to know why Aya's tomb is at the bottom of the hole in the, in the water. Uh, for some reason, her, her tomb got knocked over. That's where Layla had to jump down to get her DNA and where she gets the hidden blade, hidden blade that she was buried with. So it'll be interesting then to see why that happened. Uh, moving on, three. Uh, I'd like to hear, learn more about the um, the retransmissions that were hidden in some of the tombs that were from the future. Bayek never really acknowledges them. He just listens to them and then he moves on. The game never really explains them. He doesn't talk to anybody about them. Uh, they appear to be from the first civilization. Uh, usually, East Game gives some more information on the background of the Isu. Uh, I think that's how you say it. It's it's those uh, the ancient and advanced people who came to Earth and used humans as slaves before they rebelled. Um, usually, each game each game talks about them, gives a little bit more history, so it unravels more of the story. Origins didn't give any really big insights into that, so I like to see more information on that and some more information on the relic that Baia carries. What you know? What exactly are all of its powers? Where did it come from? That'd be more interesting. And then, moving on, fourth and finally, I was hoping we will have some resolution in the present time as Layla. After the main game ended, the present time events never really wrapped up. We met William Miles, Desmond's father. Um, he surprises Layla when she comes out of the Animus. He tells her, he, he, he kind of reassures her that everything's going to be alright, that a helicopter's on the way. But there's never really a sense of, of trust with him. And it never ends with the closure of the main game. So hopefully they revisit the present time and we figure out what's, what exactly is going on there. And finally, the second DLC, The Curse of the Pharaohs. Um, from the Ubisoft website, it says it focuses on Egyptian mythology pitting players against undead pharaohs and famed Egyptian monsters. Uh, Bayek will need to explore a mystical new realm and discover the root of the curse that has brought these creatures to life. Uh, this expansion will, will also raise level cap again and introduce new skills for Bayek, and that's scheduled for March. Uh, to me, that just seems like a kind of a throwaway DLC made for fun, uh, not really having anything pertinent to the main story. Not to say it doesn't look cool. I'll definitely be checking it out. It seems like a bigger version of the Trials of the Gods, which um, which I do like. It has like a Dark Souls boss kind of feel to it. Um, so I am looking forward to that. Um, so that's it. That's the uh, four things I like to see in the DLCs. Uh, tell me what you think. What did I miss? Was there any loose ends in the story that you like to see um, get uh, get closed up? Um, just let me know in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. But they will never know who we are. Cold, calculated, poets of the kill. I am fine with this. I am not a father anymore. I am not a husband. I am not a Medjai. I am a hidden one. Yes. We are the hidden ones. We sharpen our blades. Pull what hope is left from this foul earth. Good, Bayek of Siwa. What are you of now? A new creed. Ours is finished.